Hello and welcome to Steve McDonald's Arts and Crafts and today what I'm going to be doing is I want to mount this neurographic picture that I did on my other channel and if you want to know how to do this and how easy it is to do it then I'll link it at the end of this video and I'll also link my other channel above as well. It really was fun but what I did it out of was there's permanent alcohol ink markers plus there is watercolours as the actual colours themselves and I want to mount it onto this piece of foam board and then cover it in J Diction's coating resin which is absolutely brilliant and it cures within about 8 to 12 hours. Really glossy and very very good resin. I'll link that in the description below. Before I can cover this in resin what I need to do is mount it to this board and then seal it to ensure that the resin doesn't make the watercolours run or anything. So I'm going to show you how to do that. The first thing I need to do is actually cut the board down to the correct size. Now these boards are so cheap and they are easy to cut. I just need to measure this out, make sure all my lines are square, get myself a pencil, a soft pencil. Don't push too hard, you don't need to. And then line where I want that to be. Now you can cut this by hand, which is really, really easy and by eye, but what I will use is I will use my square here and then I will use a good sharp blade just to cut through there. I won't stop at that point. I will carry on and cut all the way through and then that should just fit there really easily. And then that picture will fit on there nicely and how I will put that on there I will just spray on some photo mount onto this and then pop this onto the top now you need to be a little bit careful when you're doing this firstly you don't want this all over the place so work in a well ventilated area give it a quick shake as well you line up your nozzle from about 15 centimeters away and you give it a quick coat going that way and then I wait about 10, 15 seconds and then I'll go over it the other way. And again, I'll wait about 10, 15 seconds before I line this up. Now, when I line this up, I want to line it up and make sure that it's really nice and square on here first and then I'll allow it to fall back down because you don't get no second chances with this. <laughs> Once it's down, it's down. And this is a non-yellowing mount as well, so it won't cause any yellowing to your picture in any way, shape or form. And then I'll let that dry for about 10, 15 minutes before I do the next stage of sealing it and just trimming it up and tidying it up if I need to. This is all sealed on there nicely now and what I've also done is I've gone around the edges with an acrylic paint to not only seal the edges but I also wanted those edges to be black as well because I think it makes it look a little bit nicer than the white edges. And what I'm going to use is I'm going to use a crystal clear seals and protects but will you have to be very careful that you do this in a lot of different layers because if you put too much on it will make the stuff run. Now I'm going to spray this on in probably three or four layers but very thin ones. Now if you can't get the Rust-Oleum crystal clear then I will link one that's virtually the same in the description below. All you have to do is give your can a good shake and then I tend to go on when I'm doing this from corner like that to this corner here. So I'll hold it on and I'll go over it, making sure in a sweeping motion like that, from that corner to that corner, I'll turn it round and then I'll go over it again from that corner to that corner. And then I'll leave that coat for probably about an hour before before I then do the next one, which will go from that corner to that corner, and then that corner to that corner. Okay, so now that's had four coats of that and it's dry, and I dried it in between using a hairdryer. What I'm going to do is just give it two sprays with a really good quality yacht varnish, and I find that this just gives that the final seal and nothing then will come to any harm when I coat this in resin. And as you can see, none of my colours have run. 
that is still in as good a condition as it was when I first did it, but it's actually very well sealed. Now, I'm going to let that dry overnight before I pour the resin over it, just to ensure that it's got every chance not to run. The really important thing is whenever you're covering any picture or anything with resin is to ensure that it's level. I have this mini level and if it's not level, I just prop it up. Now here's the resin I'm using, the Jade Diction resin, and the link for that is in the description below. I've got it all mixed up. I've let it sit for about five or 10 minutes. So it just slightly thickens. Now pour this over really quite as evenly as you can spread it around don't just pour it in the middle in one big go i've speeded this up i'm not actually pouring at this speed oh i wish i could work at this speed it would be so nice and then once you've got it all nicely poured over i use this silicon brush to even out the coat on the top trying not to allow it to overflow over the sides unless it's something that you really want and you want the sides to be covered in resin now, I'm going around those sides with this brush to avoid as many drips as I can. I didn't seal this underneath because I don't want to actually rip the foam board at all when you take tape off or something. And actually, I find I don't get too many bubbles and drips underneath the resin. So carefully you go around and do that. I just would like to say a quick thank you to all the people that bought me a coffee last month thank you so much without you i couldn't keep this channel going and your names are on my coffee board now the link for that is in the description below so once you're happy with it then my first thing is to use a torch and go over and get rid of the bubbles and if you have any persistent bubbles that are kind of sticking to the picture then use the reverse end of one of the micro brushes to just knock those bubbles up, get them to float to the top, and then go over it again like I am here with my torch, and then leave it to cure. This is nice and cured now, and I think that has come out really well. And it, there isn't many drips on the back. I never worry about taping things off, because I try not to over pour in the first place on something like this. Although you do get some runoff, and that's why I like to have it on a silicon mat. And that runoff will come off really easy. And the other thing is, it cleans your silicon mat up lovely. Really easy projects. Great use of the J Diction resin there as well. And that will protect that picture for a long, long time. And because of the anti-yellowing properties of the resins that I use and the JD resin, that isn't going to yellow very quickly at all. There has been no bleeding whatsoever in that that was sealed up lovely and I think that's the main point of this is to ensure that whenever you're using anything like watercolours or alcohol inks on a picture and you don't want them to bleed is to ensure that you seal them but seal them properly so that you don't get any damage done to what you've already crafted don't forget if you want to check out how i do this neurographic art i'll link that video at the end of this one and i'll also link my other channel above please boot that like button it really does help my videos to get out there and if you're new to this channel then hit that subscribe button and the notification bell all the links to everything i've used are in the description below take care enjoy your resin bye